Hi guys, it's me Andrea. This is another page in my life is a true story journal. And this time is an Easter theme. I couldn't resist buying this absolutely adorable napkin. Normally I'm not buying this seasonal stuff, but I love them so much, aren't they so cute? So um when I I uh, I never well, I say let's say it like this, I never cut out um napkin motifs. I tear them apart so that you can blend them much better into your page. The page I prime with a bit of watered down gesso and the same with the acrylics actually. I use them very thinned down to have this light background and then I go on with stenciling and this time I use my marabou sprays and start with the apple and with this Dine Ravelli stencil and uh, I try every layer in between and the next one is this aquamarine problem is that is almost not visible on that background so I'll go back with another or darker color and that would be mint this one much better visible though as you can see here so at the last stenciling bit I use the tangerine it's this one I really like this colors absolutely fantastic spray and one of my favorite stencils and um, that's it and then I start to uh, stamp a bit this is a little flower stamp that was a goodie from some magazine and I start with a green archival ink but that wasn't really you could see it but as you can see from the distance it's not very visible so I go in with this archival in ink and coffee and stamp a bit here and there again and uh, that's much more visible I only wanted to have a bit in the background not colorizing them or do something else to them only that something's going on as you can see here much better visible and my go-to script stamp with this forget-me-not archival ink but didn't show up a lot so I went to get my cobalt and that's much better. Okay, you will see it in the close-up, much better to see there. So, and of course when I uh, glue the, uh, the, the bunnies down they won't be really visible with this um, dark background so I go and uh, use the chalk to go around them that I know where to put the gesso down. The gesso is slightly watered down that it's not that wide in the background. After that's dried I glued the bunnies down with Liquitex matte medium and um, of course you will see a bit of the white edges but I will fix that with my bit pen big brushes pit pens so it's, it's a light green one and I um, go over it and blend it out with my fingers so that the motifs blending in better into the page and the next step I take a darker one and start to shade a bit around the, the bunnies and that's always really good with a bit with the pit pens they stay wet enough that you can blend them out with your fingers and after that they're permanent so you have a bit of time you don't um, need to rush that much and I wanted to bring out their little white tails these fluffy tails better so I went in with uh, first with my sharpie but that is at the end I have to get a new one and then I use my um, Posca pen in white and give a bit of highlights here and there as well and I had to go around some of the edges again and I use my uni ball and the next thing is on the left I wanted to shade a bit with white and tried it with a big pen a big brush pit pen big pen I only call them big pen um, and um, now I go and get some shapes on the page and these are cookie thing are you you you're getting that into the or pressing that into the dough and you get the shaped cookies I don't know what you call them actually and I use it uh, I have three different shapes or sizes different sizes and use first white gesso 
and then I go in with black with all three sizes as well and uh, yeah place it directly next to the white ones in the same size and I think this sizes or this shapes are very close to an oval as an egg you know that's why I use them this is a sh that's an inchy stem but I have a a few of them, not a lot, use uh, white gesso and I wanted to pick up the pattern, this black and white, and I use the black acrylic ink, uh, acrylic uh, paint on top of that. And that's it. So this is a China mark, I don't know if you know that, it's a white, yeah, creamy white stuff, it's not, not water soluble and I wanted to have a bit more visible white on the left side to make them pop more because the background is quite busy. And on the left I use my Stabilo Oil that's water soluble, you activate it with water and the good thing here is when it's too dark you can fix it, go over with uh, the water again and it's not permanent, so always fixable. And it gets of course a bit lighter when it's dry. So I have this hearts left over from a previous project and I thought that would make a nice nice little thing here for the um, this this couple here they they hug each other and that's so cute and I think I thought the hearts were perfect for that. It is a bit of a fiddly work I can tell you. The previous project I made was I made a lot of more hearts on that. Oh that was lot of work. You will see that it's a card. You will see that soon at some stage. So I go around the hearts with my uh, black um, uni ball and to define it a bit better and then I use a gel pen to have some highlights on them and I wipe that out with my fingers. So and that's for you. I wish you all a happy happy Easter guys and uh, I Stamp that down with one with this big big letters. I was a bit tight on with the happy. I misjudged that, but no. now I go around with my um, uni ball in very sketchy lines. I want I wanted to loosen it up a bit, and uh, with a, I go around with a gel pen, and you will see it much better when I show you the close up. And um, then I have this. Um, I put some whiskers on. <laughs> now it looks a bit like whiskers, but it's only to loosen up everything and some white dots as well. And that's all then. And I think at the end, I, yeah, I will use definitely my my Stabilo all to have this um, shading around it, activated with water, and that's it. As I said, it will when it's dry, it will get a bit lighter. It won't be that dark. Next one is the sh the close up you will see, and after that, I will show you some pictures. And um, hope you like it. I had a lot of fun, and I wish you all a fantastic Easter, guy. Enjoy the weekend. Make the most out of it. The weather will be <laughs> here, not really defined. Saturday will be great but Sunday and Monday could be a bit yeah awful. So um, thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you like it a bit and I hope I will see you with my next project. So have a fantastic time. Bye bye guys.